the second conditional, and um, we're talking about Maui. So, um, yes, warm up. What do you think about when I tell you we're going to Hawaii? Um, for me, whenever I think of Hawaii, I always think of hula dancing. <laughs> <laughs> hula with like the coconut bras and everything, right? Like the grass skirts. What do you guys think of about Hawaii? Okay, what do you know about Hawaii? Cocktails. <laughs> What about you, Firkin? Are you Googling Hawaii right now? No, I already know. <laughs> like surfing, uh, local people, lots of volcanoes, different islands, and really cool place. The place that lost was shot. And that's it for now. I didn't know that. Lost was shot in Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. On an island. On an island, really. <laughs> Federico, do you did you watch Lost? No, no, I just watched the first uh, episode on. You never really got yeah, into no, it. No, no, I don't. I don't know why, because so many people start to talk about it, and I don't like those kind of series. I know all the world are talking about the series and. When we come, I comment to each other the what happened in the last episode. No, it's the... mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I agree, Firkin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So first, uh, for pronunciation today, we're looking at your ed endings. So, um, as you may know, there are three ways to pronounce your ed endings. Um, what are the three ways? Can anyone tell me? Uh, what endings? The ed yeah. ending. The or the ed and t. Good. T, d and id. Mm -hmm. So the first one is the t sound. Like for example, I laughed out loud. So when you're ending it with a t. You're not adding a syllable to your word. Um, and we use the T sound when the sound before the ED is breathy or voiceless. So voiceless sounds are p, p, s, sh, sh, t. <laughs> Those are all the voiceless sounds. So when I'm saying them, my, my throat doesn't vibrate. Um, and it's all about your breath coming out. P, s, so after those sounds, um, you end your word with the t, laughed, walked, pushed. Okay, so you don't add a, you don't say pushed or walked, even though it looks like that. It sounds like walked, pushed, and then the second sound is the d. So, for example, I loved that movie. I loved that movie. Um, again, we we're not adding a syllable, and you use the d sound. When the sound before the ED is buzzy or voiced, buzzing, vibrating your throat, um, voice sounds are b, g, y, w, z. Any sort of sound that makes your throat vibrate um, is followed by a D, like begged, played, um, what else? I don't know, swabbed. Okay. Um, and then our third one is the id. Sound. Lazy. Id. This is the easiest one. Um, you only use it when you you've got um, a T or a D before your ED. But there's some exceptions, but generally it's after a T or a D, like wanted, needed. Okay. Um, so you've got T -d or id. Let's practice. So Federico, how would you put that into the past? Past. Looked. Looked with a T. Firkin. Laughed. Okay. I'm gonna paste the whole list. Take. You guys can take turns with them. Okay. So after laugh, Federico. Uh. No worries. Uh, 
faxed. Faxed. Washed. Mm -hmm. Allowed. Mm -hmm. Packed. Danced. Cooked. But. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, it should be put. But. No. Ah, put. Put is put, so just ignore that one. Do the next one. <laughs> uh, needed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jumped. Wanted. Scared. You skipped one. Bored. Greeted. Borrowed. Paid. Good. Fix. Get rid of but from the document so it's for the next person. <laughs> okay. Cool. Any questions about your ED endings? You guys seem to have them fine. Do you ever have trouble with these ones? Or any certain words? It's fine? No. No. <laughs> okay. Let's look at our conditional. So. Here's the document. Hey, so we're looking at the second conditional today. How long is it? <laughs> it's two pages. It's not too long. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so first, can we review? Um, when do we use the zero conditional? Facts. Facts. Conditional? A possible situation that we have. Conditional for today? Your turn for <laughs> Yeah. Huh? Second. Uh, Federico got the easy one, so now for can uh, second and third. <laughs> uh, we think that is possible, but not happens. Unlikely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was a word for it. <laughs> so first is likely possible. Yes, there's always a word. And then a second is unlikely possibility. And third? Never is going to happen. It's never going to happen. So third is for... Dreams? No. Things you wish you could change. Um, things like that. So things in the past. Um, or hypothetical. So if I, or let me think. Um, if he would have bought you a ring, what would you have done? It's a hypothetical question, right? So we sometimes use it for hypotheticals. Um, so today we're looking at number two. Um, Federico, would you like to read the first part for us? Mm, yes. First, the second conditional. I switched the. The second conditional refers to events in the future. The past simple tense is used to talk about the future condition. Would plus the base pair is used to talk about the future results. The most important thing to remember is that there is an untrue, highly improbable possibility or imaginary thought. Good. Sorry, I'm just kind of editing as we go. Um, yeah, live editing. Hmm. Good. So if plus the condition, the result is what in the base. So if I found a million dollars, I would buy a new car. Or the other way around, I would. Right? So when you've got your if, oops. Phrase in the first half, you use a comma. If phrase in the second half, no comma. And you can do it either way, doesn't matter. If Jenny married me, I'd be happy. I would also turns into I'd. I'd be a happy man if she married me. Um, something improbable, if my boss was fired, I would not have to listen to him anymore. 
Um, this would probably turn into wouldn't when you're speaking. Right? If I won the lottery, I'd buy a big house. Or for something imaginary, if I had super powers, I would fly to the moon. If you were a witch, you would fly on a broom. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> uh, it rhymes. Something... It almost rhymes. <laughs> for something untrue, if it snowed in Costa Rica, we would play in the snow. <laughs> if it rained in the Sahara, I would live there. So things that are untrue, but they're still possible. Things that are imaginary, things that are unlikely. Second, oh, I already told you this. So we can also construct it with the result first, right? You can flip your sentence. Third, um, Furkan, can you read our questions? Okay. Third, you can form questions using the second conditional construction. If plus condition past simple plus what or would, if you won a lottery, what would you do? If you had a million dollars, what would you buy? Right. So, oops, sorry. For example, all of these questions, lots of them, they're all in the second conditional. If you had 24 hours to live, what would you do? If someone's underwear was showing, would you tell them? <laughs> if the whole world were listening, what would you say? If you could be a bird, what bird would you choose to be? So these are all conditional questions. I'm at the end if we have time. Um, you can also flip your questions, right? What would... Um, what could you... could you do? So you can use would or could. Um, okay, any questions about second conditional or the differences? No, we are cool. You're cool? You're, I wouldn't go that far. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh. What? <laughs> I made a mistake again. Pardon? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh oh, my hangout is broken. Oh, one sec, I'll be right back. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, let's try this again. Hawaii. Here's the link. I already gave it to you. Okay. Maui, top sites and attractions. Explore Maui's top sites and attractions. From landmarks like historic Lao Valley to McKenna Beach, one of Maui's largest beaches, learn about the special places that make Maui so unforgettable. I'm just going to click. Here's Hana, Maui. Interesting road. I would be kind of afraid to drive on it. It <laughs> looks like you're going to roll down the hill. <laughs> um, yeah. Along Maui's rugged eastern coastline is the peaceful town of Hana, considered one of the last unspoiled Hawaiian frontiers. The legendary road to Hana is only 52 miles from Kahalui, <laughs> However, the drive can take anywhere from two to four hours to complete since it's fraught with narrow one-lane bridges, hairpin turns, and incredible island views. The Hannah Highway has 620 curves and 59 bridges. The road leads you through flourishing rainforests, forests, fl flowing waterfalls, plunging pools, and dramatic seascapes. There are plenty of opportunities to stop and enjoy the lovely views, so get an early start and take your time on your drive. Um, got some other words, luxurious. Do you see any new words here? Mm -hmm. You know this? If something's fraught with something? Yeah, full of stuff. Yeah, full of. Fraught with is full of. What about flourishing? Um, developing or... To blossom. 
blossoming, mm -hmm. plunging pools, means deep in the water. Mm -hmm. Well, you can take a plunge, I imagine. Yeah, take a plunge. Hale, Hale Kala National Park, Maui. Hale Kala. Hale, Hale Kala. <laughs> Sounds Searching like a, Yeah. <laughs> There's not really much of a picture, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Stretching across Maui's southern and eastern coastline, Halikala National Park is home to Maui's highest peak. Rising 10,023 feet above sea level, Halikala's graceful slopes can be seen from just about any point on the island. Halikala means house of the sun in Hawaiian, and legend has it that the demigod Maui Lasoid, the sun, oh, Lasud, I thought that was a name. <laughs> that Maui lassoed the sun from its journey across the sky as he stood on the volcano's summit, slowing its descent to make the day even longer. Um, the park is comprised of over 30,000 acres of public land, has three separate visitor centers, and covers a range of natural environments. You can travel atop the highest peaks of Halikala, hiking above the clouds and horseback riding across otherworldly deserts. As the park stretches out to the coast towards sea level, you can even visit lush tropical areas full of waterfalls and streams. Um, new words here? Do you guys know summit? Uh, the Sorry? Apex. The top of the mountain. Yeah, the highest peak, highest point. What about... There's one other weird word. One that I said wrong the first time. Lassoed. To lasso something. It's a French word? No. It's when you take, you know, if you're ride, bull riding and you have the, the uh, rope and then you throw it to catch them and pull them in, that's to lasso something. Mm hmm. So it's saying the demigod Maui lassoed the sun. <laughs> kind of. Is it demigod or demigod? Well, it's the same thing as semi or semi. It doesn't really uh, matter. Say that. Uh, Here, um, I'll find the American pronunciation. Demigod. Dem oh, demi. demi. I would say demigod. Demigod. <laughs> demi, semi, demi, semi. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> you can oh. choose. <laughs> Hawaiians has, has their own language. Sorry? Hawaiians has uh, their, own, their, own language, their mm -hmm. own language. Yeah, they do. Um, we go to... I think it tells us about their language. If we go back... I remember the, the, the movie uh, where uh, George Clooney, I think, was in the, the movie. Sandals. Yeah, send. Mm -hmm. They in a couple of times they spoke Hawaiian. I don't remember. Oh, I don't know sounds. if it's. I guess it's called Hawaiian. Oh. There's another name for it. Pigeon. Pigeon. Yeah, the pigeon is like Hawaiian English, and then I think they also just oh. speak Hawaiian. Mm. Ole. It looks like this is how it's. I have no idea how to pronounce this, but... Which one? Olelo. Uh, Hawaii. Olelo. Olelo Hawaii. <laughs> Olelo Hawaii. It means Hawaiian language in Hawaiian. <laughs> so, it's just... They just speak Hawaiian. <laughs> um, maybe let's read about one more place and then talk. Oops. Oh dear, what am I doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Back, back, back. Um, what do you want to hear about? M Molokini, the pools of Oheo, McKenna Beach, Lehana, or Makawao. Makawao. Wow. <laughs> Makawao. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> Located on the mid slopes of Maui's Halikala volcano, Makawao has one foot in its plantation past and another in its thriving arts community. This charming town was once named one of the top 25 arts destinations in the United States. Um, Firkin, why don't you read for us this one? 
Okay, Makawao is a little, <laughs> is the biggest little town <laughs> in the region. Luckily, wait, I will turn into my radio face, radio voice. Locally known as upcountry Maui and is famous for its Hawaiian cowboys or Paniolo. Since the late 19th century, horseback riding Paniolo have wrangled cattle in Maui's wide open outfield, <coughs> upland fields. The Makawa Rodeo, held yearly on the 4th of July, is Hawaii's largest paniolo competition and has been an upcountry tradition for more than 50 years. The weekend events include a parade and traditional rodeo competitions such as barrel racing, calf roping, and bareback bronco riding, all with a few Hawaiian twists. <laughs> Federico, you want to read one? Yeah, of course. Uh... For a snack, follow the locals to get a famous cream puff from T. Komoda store, established in 1916 by Taketsu Komoda, a Japanese plantation worker. This little store and bakery does big business. Lines can be long in the morning when everything is fresh, so come early. The bakery is closed on Wednesday and Saturdays. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about the bakery. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let's talk about Hawaii. So if you ever go, you know where there's a good bakery now. So, um, if someone gifted you a trip for two to Maui, who would you take with you, and why would you bring that person? So, for me, even though I wouldn't want to, I would take my dad, <laughs> because... He's taken me on so many trips and bought me plane tickets, so it would be pretty unfortunate of if I didn't bring him on a trip that I won. Or I would just give him the trip for two and he could go with, like, my grandma or something. <laughs> um, so I would take my dad, as I owe him a lot. Um, Federico, who would you take to Maui? Well, if something give me a trip to Maui, I don't know. Uh, as I think that I would give the... Um, the uh, the trip to my to my parents I think it would be a good idea. It seems like a quiet island, not like the others I I know. So I don't think it's a a time to go there. Okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> so you would regift. Have you heard of regifting? Yeah, of course. So you would regift it to your parents. <laughs> Say, look what I got you. <laughs> <laughs> they would never know. <laughs> okay. Um, Verkan, who would you bring? I don't know. Uh, in your opinion, probably I should have brought my mom, but I don't think that will be entertaining for me because uh, my mom wouldn't want to go on an adventure with me, so I would try <laughs> to go with my brothers. But uh, in that case, this time my mom will piss off because... We'll go to different places and probably go into the danger. So I don't know. I have to find someone on the same page with me. Why wouldn't your mom want to go? Uh, yeah, my mom would be using the normal paths, no exciting events or whatever. You know, that wouldn't but, be so crazy stuff. Do you think if you went up to your mom and said, "Mom, I want a trip to Hawaii. Do you want to come?" She would be like, "Hawaii." <laughs> no, she wouldn't be like, why? She would say, if it's free, okay, let's go. But then uh, she wouldn't actually want to go with you. <laughs> yeah, you should bring someone to pay for you. I'll bring Federico. He can buy everything for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have money. <laughs> yeah, me I neither. Like <laughs> we need to find, okay, Firkin. Firkin can buy everything. Right, Firkin? <laughs> yeah. No comment. <laughs> okay. Um... Would you ever try something like hula dancing <laughs> for fun? If no one is recording, maybe. I've done it before. <laughs> wow. No In a grass hula. skirt oh and everything. <laughs> one time for Halloween, I was a hula girl. So I had like a grass skirt and the coconut bra and, and um, like the flowers around my neck and my hair was all like crazy. And I would go around going, doing the hula. It's fun. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I know. It's not surprising at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's like hips don't lie, but the hula edition. 
freaking do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a tradition, the Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. When you arrive there, you have to dance with, with them, or uh, you do it if you want. Um, I think it's it's not necessarily traditional for you to dance with them, but it's traditional that they'll dance for you. Oh, okay. And then they'll like ask people if they yeah. want to join. I think, just, but just to don't be disrespectful. You don't have to go up and do it. They wouldn't be like, "Why aren't you doing the hula?" <laughs> <laughs> That's <weird. laughs> they, would, they would be they would be angry because I'm trying to do it and they don't want. Yeah, or you go up and you try to do it. Yeah, and they're like, "What the? What is with yeah, this yeah, tourist <laughs> fooling?" <Really? at> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, here's another one. Offered a job in Maui or elsewhere in Hawaii, would you consider moving for the job, Federico? Yeah, I I would consider moving to for the job, but not not right now. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, in 20, 15 years. Okay. What about you, <laughs> Job. <laughs> actually, that was the plot of... No, actually, it's not. But in the sentence, they were work, working on Hawaii, and it seemed to me like, cool, because they're going to work and do nothing, go surf and travel. Of course, it depends on the job. If I will be an accountant, I would, there wouldn't be any difference than here. I'll just, uh, maybe, the weekends will be exciting, but other than that, they'll be just in front of the computer doing your job. When you work as a freelance. Yeah. I would move to Maui. <laughs> and they were like, hey, <laughs> we you, you don't Hawaii. need a computer and an internet connection. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you guys have internet? Okay, perfect. <laughs> then I can... Um, I wouldn't be able to, why wouldn't I be able to buy, well, I wouldn't need shoes in Maui, I could just be on the beach all the time. Yeah, you'd bring all of your shoes, like, 20 pairs, maybe? I have more than or 20 pairs of shoes. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. Significantly club. more than 20 pairs of shoes, <laughs> but I wouldn't bring them all, but no. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Yeah. You'll find like different slippers in Hawaii, Maui. Does Maui seem like a good place to live for you and your lifestyle? Hmm. Hmm. Not my current like lifestyle. The beach and drinking pina coladas <laughs> out of coconut jug things. You can adapt. What do you think, Federico? Uh, yeah, I think I can adapt too. I think you could adjust to the yeah, beach yeah. life. <laughs> Okay. Would you rather spend... What? It's like, wait for me, I'm coming. <laughs> Would you rather spend a Sunday under a waterfall or at a national park? How did you think of this question? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting question. <laughs> I like waterfalls. Have you guys ever been... seen wa a waterfall? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever times. swam under a waterfall? No. Yeah. No. Uh, it's so cold and the water is no. trying to push you around off the water. Well, if you if you're directly below <laughs> the water, you're not supposed to swim right under it. It'll kill you. <laughs> That's a problem. Out a little bit or behind. Just tell me how else can I go under it without? So freaking to go under a waterfall. Normally you go behind it or like in the water. You just stand under it like <laughs> getting covered in water. Um, would you rather go to a park or to swim for the day? Swim. Swim, swim. Mm -hmm. Same. I don't know. It's yeah, different. Are you asking like a beach or a waterfall, like the river? Waterfall. We can go to the beach. Right? I guess you can go to the beach, but <laughs> I was talking about water. Because we can find places in natural park that we can swim, so mm -hmm. both in yeah. one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... <laughs> I don't have anything else to ask you guys about Maui. You guys are so advanced that we went through the whole lesson plan in half an hour, so now we're going to just do some other conditional questions, like the list that I gave you before. Um, and I'll start by asking Furkan a question. 
And then Forkin, you can ask one to Federico, and then Federico can ask me, and we'll do like a chain. Okay. So let me find one. Here's the. Did I give you the list? No. Okay. No. Um, I'm first. I'm gonna choose one randomly. Okay. If you were Mexican, how would your life be different, Firkin? Yeah, I would wear those hats. And sombrero? Yep. What is that called? Sombrero and uh, pancho. I would wear those. <laughs> pancho. <laughs> I would Drinking eat. tequila. <laughs> that's later. Then I would oh. eat tacos. Uh, that's siesta. Then I would buy a... I forgot those instruments. I would play them. Banjo. Is that the yeah, I would, I would have a good mustache like this. And it has to curl. I would just, yeah, to here. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone is watching that's from Mexico, I am so sorry. <laughs> just don't, don't mind him. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Fer, can you choose one for Federico? Okay. Uh, if you were an English teacher, what would you do to improve your students' English? Um, well, not that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. A formal question. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I would try to engage them uh, in the class as much as possible. Uh, and I will, I don't know, I will be sure that every every student uh, understands where I uh, where I teach. Make sure that they understand. How, yeah. I should ask you guys. How do you think is the best way for teachers to be? What do you think is the most useful from teachers that you've had, like speaking, correcting you? Mm. What do you think is the most useful? I think it's 50-50. Mm -hmm. I think that if you correct the student, the whole, the whole class, it won't be useful. Yeah. That's actually one thing that we are, we're always struggling with, especially in this environment where there's lots of students mm -hmm. um, and everyone wants to be corrected, but then if you're constantly correcting, then you'll never get fluent. <laughs> yeah, in fact. <laughs> you know? It's, and it's kind of discouraging. I mean, I remember... Um, when I was first starting to speak French, like really speak and co have a conversation, and my roommate would just constantly cut in and be like, uh, 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 like you're saying this wrong, you're saying this wrong, and I could just never really up. say anything. I'm like, just leave me alone. I know my accent's bad. I just want to talk. <laughs> like, just shut up. <laughs> so it can be discouraging. Yeah, of course it was Anne, my roommate. Um, she got better, though. I, I lashed out at her one time. Like, you need to just, <laughs> I won't finish, but I yelled at her, and I was like, you're making me feel so stupid. <laughs> and then she stopped. But, um, okay, cool. Federico, why don't you choose one um, for Furkan? For Furkan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you could change one thing that you did that was bad, perhaps a crime or some wrong you did to another person, what would it be? I have lots of bad memories. Mm. Mm, let me think. Maybe I wouldn't do that prank on my brother. <laughs> do you have details? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can't say that and then not yeah, give it to yeah, me. Yeah. You have to now. <laughs> I told my brother to jump on the chair, and when he jumped, I just. Um, to turn to the other place, and he, his face is smashed and started bleeding. I thought it would be a character in character. It wouldn't be okay. What if it didn't? It wasn't? No. When did you do that? Five years ago. Oh, I thought you were talking about today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me choose one for Federico. Mm, 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 mm. An easy one. No. <laughs> uh, if you had, oh, I know. Um, if you had only one dollar to your name, only a dollar, what would you do with it? You, you're totally poor. All you have is one dollar. What would you do? 
Uh, well, if I if I had one dollar, I would um, share with another people, or another person who is in the same situation as me. And then you would only have fifty cents. Yeah, but we I don't know if the if the beer costs fifty cents, we can share a beer. You both have a beer. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, and then what would you do after when you you don't have your fifty cents? Um, I don't know. <laughs> then you could dance would, for money. I would, no, no. I would try. I would try. First of all, I would try to find a place to sleep. I don't know, maybe a, I don't know, a square or something like that. And from the next day, I start to look for a job. Mm hmm. Okay. A fur gun disappeared, so you can choose one for me, Federico, but it has to be an easy one. <laughs> yeah, as easy as you choose. Um, let me know. Mm, oh, there are a ton of questions. Mm. Hmm. If you were asked to speak to a graduating class, what would you say? To a which, sorry, what kind of class? Gra graduating. graduating uh, class. Graduating. Graduating. Use when you have the D U, it turns mm -hmm. J sound. Graduating. Graduating. Yeah. Um if I had to speak to a graduating class. Oh dear. Whoever hired me for that job. <laughs> I don't know. Um I would tell them that oh. Hmm. I don't know. I would tell them that time flies. Life goes by too quickly. So you should do everything you want to do. <laughs> Don't waste your time. <laughs> um, like stick jobs. Yeah, exactly. And tell everyone that you love that you love them. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me find another one. Mm. If you woke up one morning in mm -hmm. another country, surrounded mm -hmm. by people who did not speak any languages that you speak, and you mm -hmm. only had the clothes that you slept in, what would you do? So you woke up in some random place like, whoa, what's going yeah. on? Then what would you do? I would probably run off. <laughs> <laughs> Just run? <laughs> no, no, I, I, uh, I would try to communicate with, uh, with someone. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But if I cannot communicate with anyone because they don't speak any language that I, I speak, uh, I don't know. I would try to find someone who speak a, a word of English or Spanish uh, or Italian or I don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a tough one. Careful with English, Spanish, not ish. English, uh -huh. Spanish. It should be English, Spanish. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that would be really tough. You just run around going, "Help me!" and everyone's looking at you like, "What?" Well, it's, it's happened to me. My sort of situation when I was in Italy, uh, I, I didn't speak it at all, and I remember I, I woke up, I was in a, in a hostel, and the other person didn't understand because I, I couldn't speak English, uh, Italian, and uh, I started to make some, some signs with my hands, and yeah, I hate it. I had to do that in Germany. Um, in Germany? Yeah, Where? in Berlin, because the in hostel, Berlin. yeah, because of the hostel that we were staying in, um, the people at the, the girl at the desk was actually, it wasn't, when I arrived, mm -hmm. she didn't actually work there. <laughs> she was uh, just like helping her friend or something. Normally, yeah, just, the whole staff spoke English, obviously, it's a mm -hmm. hostel, right? But sh I went in and... I was like, hi, I'm here, and she goes, uh, is she, like, crazy, it's <laughs> any English, I was like, oh my god, really, <laughs> at a hostel, so I'm, like, looking through my papers, trying to show her that I have a reservation and everything, <laughs> and we're, like, doing hand signals, I'm do going like this to tell her I want shampoo and, like, a towel. <laughs> but why, why, why didn't you, you ask her if she, I don't know, if she's, speak uh, French or another language. I didn't so. speak French. I did. I asked her. But I only speak English and French, so whatever other languages she speaks, I wouldn't have been able to. She spoke wow. a very, very little bit of English. Mm. Um, but she only spoke German. And we were, like, ha doing hand signals, trying to communicate. Yes. And then um, a couple hours later, 
the guy, the staff came up, came over and knocked me like, we are so What's sorry. Going on? Like, no, 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 it's fine. She said, but you, you found your room, so I'm sure it's fine. But well, language, language signals always works. You can, you can go a long way with hand signals. Yeah. Um, okay, let me find another one for you. No, it's my turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. Where to be killed? What part of your body would you donate and why? Ooh. <laughs> what was it if you were to be killed? Yeah. What part of my body? Oh, um, all of my body, actually. I'm a, an organ donor. So, uh, okay. whatever, I don't care. <laughs> if I can help someone, then I, I want to help them. So, yeah. Sad. Uh, Good answer. What to about avoid, you? Uh, a deeply answer. What about you? A same okay. question. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe the organ that the, uh, it would be m more useful for, for, the, for the case, you know? Yeah. So some people believe that um, some people believe that you should keep uh, your body as it is when you pass away. Um, mm -hmm. I don't believe that though. I, I don't. I think yeah, once yeah. you died, it's just a body, and it's your soul is elsewhere. And for your body, it's like if I can help someone, then I want to help yeah. them. <laughs> um, okay, let's find one for you. Hmm. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what food would you choose and why? Should I give you an answer? Yeah. Me meat, of course. What kind of meat? Just in general? Just meat? No, no, no. no <laughs> meat the from from the from the cow. Ah, uh, beef. Cow meat. Yeah, yeah, beef, steak. 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 Mm-hmm. What kind of meat? I love steak. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorites. Okay. Um, your turn. Okay, my turn. Mm. If you were the president of Canada for a day, what would you do? If I was the president of Canada, hmm, what would I do? Well, we have a prime minister, not a president. <laughs> no, because the, the question, the, the question, the question. <laughs> Was uh, with the USA, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> um, because if I was the president of the United States, there's lots of things I would do. <laughs> um, if I were the president of Canada for a day, or the prime minister of Canada for a day, what would I do? Oh boy, I have no I don't know, idea. I don't know what are the biggest issues that are running in Canada, but mm -hmm. something related to. Yeah, there's lots of them. Um, <laughs> not not really enormous issues though. I would I don't know. I would probably rem oh I'm gonna make people mad at this. I would remove funding from certain things related to the military, and oh. I would give funding to other things like mm. hunger and and causes that I care more and, about than the military. Yeah. Scho um, scholarships. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of money in tied up in the military right now in Canada. A lot of money uh, buying guns and stuff like that, and I'm not cool with that. So I would remove funding from that and put it into education or um, feeding people who are hungry on the streets. There's a lot of homeless people in Canada. Mm. Building shelters, women's shelters, that sort of thing. Things that I, I think if, are more important. Social I don't things. know if it's, if it's okay. If you say that person is uh, it's a slum, it's okay or it's offensive? Yeah. You would say you live in a slum. Uh huh. The word slum is functioning as the place. Like ah, it's the place. I so I thought it was uh, referring to the to the person. Mm -mm, to mm -mm. It's the place. So a person lives in a slum. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. That was a good question. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If you were going to a deserted island and mm -hmm. you could only take three things with you, what would you take and why? No, the classic asked... question. <laughs> no, 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 no. You asked me this question in another class. Okay, fine. I'll find a better so... one. Um... <laughs> if you noticed your zipper was down and other people noticed, what would you do? 
My <laughs> <laughs> we usually call it your fly. Your zipper, your fly mm -hmm. is down, and everyone's like, hey, look at that guy. <laughs> 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 what would you do? <laughs> I, I don't know. I well, hopefully know. you would zip it up. <laughs> yeah, the further, yeah. Step but, one. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's a really, really tough question. No, I, I don't even know. Would you be like, sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> maybe make a joke. I would say... It's yeah, I would try to deviate the attention, maybe. It's cheaper than air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can choose one. <laughs> uh, I have to find a really good one for your next one. Oh. oh, that's that's an incredible question. If your friend could not have a child, will you carry her child for her? Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's a heavy question. So, do you know what it's called to do that? Mm. Surrogate mother. Yeah, surrogate mother, yeah. Yeah, um, you're, you're, you're not there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Um, if it was, like, my best friend and... Yeah, yeah, we are, you're talking about best friends. Yeah, like, there's one person, I think, who I would do that for. My best friend, I probably would. Um, or a family member, I guess, if they asked. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I would have to think about it. But if they <laughs> really, really, really wanted a kid and like their own kid, but couldn't do it, then then yeah, I might. I would have to think about it. Maybe that's for, a lot of that's a lot of pain to go through. I know, I know, I know. For so many, for many, like, for many, different. There's lots yeah. of reasons why I wouldn't want to like. You get you would get so attached to the baby, like and you know, I don't know. It would be a really weird situation. But so maybe. you 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 would probably do like Phoebe in France do with his uh, his brother. Yeah. Like he carried <laughs> yeah. he, he carried uh, his his own three children. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know. I would think about it. Yeah. Weird question. That's a hard <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, if you bumped your car into someone else's car and no one saw you do it, would you leave your name and address, or would you just drive away? No, 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 no. I would leave. I know it's it's difficult because it's the thing that I would probably not, I would probably do. I don't know. It's not it never happened to me before. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think that I would, I would, I would leave my my email and address and every other I don't know, information to contact me. Yeah, um, I actually did this once. I I backed into someone's car. You left? Car. Yeah, no, 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 I didn't leave. But I backed into someone's car in a, um, in a parking lot, in at a uh -huh. Walmart parking lot. I backed uh -huh. into their car and I dented their bumper, like, pretty good. There was a dent. I knew I, I was, and then afterwards I'm sitting oh there. Oh, my God. What do I do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I left my information. I left everything for them, and they called me, and we worked it out. Um, I would feel I would have felt awful if I'd driven away. Women are terrible drivers. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I actually I had only had my license for I think like two weeks or a week maybe. I'd only driven a few times by myself, and of course I'm like bumping into everything. That's the. I, I, am, a, I am a pretty bad driver. <laughs> But but in Canada in Canada you have the the, the scoring for when you for example uh, have an yeah. accident and uh, uh, they find you you provoke the like that demerit uh, the, merit, the merit points yeah, yeah so you get um like for example I didn't lose any points for that because I worked it out with them individually I gave them like a couple hundred bucks or something um <laughs> but. I, because I really dented their car. Yeah, I know. Please, please, take them, take them out. We like, yeah, we were like, can we not get insurance involved? And we both agreed, like, whatever, I'll just give you some yeah, money. Yeah, sometimes it's better. Yeah, that's, so I was, I, I was the one, well, they agreed, though. I said, I'd rather just do it by ourselves. Like, just tell me how much it costs, I'll pay for it, it's fine. Um, but, yeah, demerit points. So, for example, I don't know, you're speeding. You're going mm, way over the speed limit. You lose, you know, three points or whatever. It's a point system, and once you run out of points, 
you lose your license. <laughs> so yeah. it's on a point system, and you can't you can't earn them back. I don't think you can earn them back. So once they're no. gone, no. I think it's after a certain number of years they refresh, like, mm. but you can't do a good thing to get them back. It doesn't work that way. For example, if on a year you 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 don't I don't know you don't make any yeah any... I think it's three years I think that you ha don't do anything wrong mm -hmm. then then they'll wipe them and you start oh. over yeah okay um, okay okay who asked that question I think I did oh yeah it was the car yeah. okay it's your turn okay um... <laughs> If you were given the opportunity to mold your partner the way you want it, how will you mold your partner? <laughs> mold? Yep. Mm. Mold. Well, my partner. Well, I don't have a partner right now. <laughs> uh, but. Well, but I don't know. Maybe an idea. In the future, when I have a boyfriend. Yeah. Um, can I just give the cheesy answer that I don't want to change anybody? <laughs> No, I don't you, know. You, you can say yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I think that it's it's probably. I'm being honest though. I I don't think that you should be with someone if you feel like you need to change everything about them. Yeah, fine, so, fine. You know. No, but you know that even if when when you are a, when you are a, you have a couple, there are some things that you don't like to the other person, but there are some uh, some things some things that you can I don't know you can handle. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know maybe. She, she, she. I don't know. I, I, I'm speaking about she because uh, I have a girlfriend. But for example, if you, if you don't like that your girlfriend or your boyfriend left, uh, leave the, the, I don't know, the clothes all over the, the, left. Um, the room. Yeah, left around the room. Mm -hmm. You want to be more tidy. You, you right. can say that. And you say, well, I will change that. Uh, Right, little things, yeah, little things, like habits and annoying things. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't like, talk about personality. Yeah, too. no, like do your dishes, you know, don't leave dirty yeah. dishes around, oh, yeah. keep things clean, yeah. Um, that sort of thing I would just tell them, but, like, actually molding someone's person, I don't think yeah. that's, you know, I, like, if you yeah, feel like you need to do that, maybe you're not with the right person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, 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 you're true. Mm -hmm. You convinced um, me. Yeah, Arthur, are you there, Arthur? Arthur, do you have a microphone? Um, maybe not. We can't hear you if you're there. You you might have to click your mic up here. Um, and I think Furkan went to eat dinner, so I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't kick him out. Why can't I kick him out? It's weird. Hmm. Oh well. Um. Okay, so one more. One more. Okay, let me find one. You're getting all the good ones. I have to find a hard one. If you could be God, what would you do for humanity? I don't know if you believe in God, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if I were God. I can say if I wear instead of if yep, I wash. If I wear. Yep, you can. Hey, Liliana. Liliana, how are you? Oh, oh. oh bye. She was, she was afraid. She was afraid of other questions. Yeah, I know. She goes, oh my God, they're talking uh, about uh, God. Get me out of here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could get rid of the of the poverty and get rid of in the sense that all the people who are uh, poor or suffer, uh, I would try to. You know, deal with it and solve, make a better place for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so try to rid people of their suffering, right? Yeah. yeah. Way to say it, rid. Yeah. Can rid someone of something, rid them of their suffering. Hey, Fergan, how's dinner? <laughs> you hear me? Uh, Liliana, you're here. Yeah. I was just saying, ah, she came in for the last five minutes. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, have a... I forget uh, the schedule, so I wake oh. up uh, later because it's holiday in Colombia. So I think, ah, I missed Samantha class. <laughs> I, couldn't, I can't believe it. <laughs> I know. I was like, ah, I haven't seen Liliana or Luisa. I was like, where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> we have a question for you, Liliana. Okay. Yes. Tell me, Eric. Okay. Uh, 
We're doing a um, second conditional, Liliana. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I have to read that. Okay. Uh, if you were given an opportunity to born again, what kind of person would you choose to be? Ooh. To, to born again? To yeah. be born again, right? Be born again. again. Yeah. Mm. Let me find it. Born again. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Here okay. it is. Uh, no, I I would uh, if I had the opportunity to, to born again, I would be the same uh, woman. <laughs> Maybe I, I would like to, uh, to study uh, many things that maybe I I didn't. Uh, but uh, no, I, I, I wouldn't uh, like to be a different uh, person. So I'm maybe happy. you would do some different things, but you would yes. still be you, right? Yes, maybe different things. But uh, no, I don't like to be different or famous people or... Oh, I would like to burn nice. to burn in different country. No, I, I like uh, my life. Actually, mm -hmm. I like my life. You like who you are. Yes, yes exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good question. Mm. Um, okay. Firkin. <laughs> yeah, maybe one more for Firkin before we leave. Um, uh, you're good at choosing them, Federico. You choose one for Firkin. I. You're finding all the good ones, so you can choose. <laughs> okay. I will try to instead of because my pronunciation is awful. No, it's not. Uh, I really understand. I'm been correcting any any big mistakes you're making. I'm correcting for you. So just like vowels, but you're, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Don't worry. So, I would tell you. I like this question. <laughs> what is the question? Okay. Oh. Try, try to try to ask it, Federico. If you could be married. With a foreign man, woman, how do you think your life would change? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it would depend on where country she is from, but I don't think that will be changed drastically because if that person respects my lifestyle and I would respect her style, then everything will be good. Of course, there will be some uh, issues that we don't understand why the other is doing that, but I think that will be resolved in a short time period. You missed our earlier question, Firkin. Um, Federico was asking if um, if you had the opportunity to mold your significant other, would you mold them differently or change them? So would you mold your foreign wife into <laughs> something else? Do you feel um, like you would... Exactly. Because you if you're married that person, you married because you like that personality characters. Hopefully, if that person be like you, then <laughs> why did you marry with them? You could marry with yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think it could be interesting to to marry with a foreign uh, mm -hmm. man. For me, I think it's great. I would like to do it. Yeah, um, I hope I marry a foreign guy. <laughs> 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 I like traveling, and they can teach me their language. <laughs> yes, it's a, a good idea to learn a, a different language. <laughs> I have to find a guy who knows at least three languages. <laughs> Just first on the criteria list. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, we were at Maui, but we left about half an hour ago. Forget Maui. We're <laughs> talking about other things. Um, and a Spanish guy? Uh, a Spanish guy in Cordoba? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Maybe. I can, find, I can find one for you, Samantha. Yeah, you. okay. Federico, whenever I meet you in Madrid, you have to bring your friends. <laughs> no, my friends? No, no. I have to. No, no. No, my friends. I'm no, just please. kidding. Oh, why? What's wrong, what's wrong with your friends? <laughs> because all of them, all of them are, are married or uh, have a girlfriend. Yeah, no married guys. No, no. In fact, we don't, we don't, we don't want problems. Yeah. We don't want to cause anything. <laughs> no, free, a free man. Yeah, yeah. Someone's a free man. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Okay, cool. Um, so that was lots of conditional practice. Um. So good. Uh, we're done for today. Tomorrow, what are we doing? Let's take right, a look. Just tell me about your classes. I will as soon as my calendar loads. Tomorrow is Thursday, mm -hmm. and oh, we have beginner games first. Hmm, I not, know. not not so good for you guys, but it's still fun. <laughs> so we're playing games, 
And then we're doing um, adjectives with food and health. We're talking about chocolate, because I love chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then in history and culture class, we're talking about models, and we're going to ancient Rome. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So have a good day, guys. Hopefully I'll too. see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.